Hello everyone, in this video we have this interesting problem. We have x to the power 8 minus 81 is equal to 0. And we have to find all the real solution to this problem. I have a little headache so my voice has changed small, forgive me about that. But before we dive into it, you know the deal already. Pause the video and try it first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed. Now let's get started. I write this x to the power 8 as x to the 4th power or to the power 2 minus, then this 81 could also be written as 9 to the second power and this is equal to 0. Now from algebraic identities, if you have a to the second power minus b to the second power, which is difference of two squares, this is the same as a plus b times a minus b. Okay, so this could also be written as x to the fourth power plus 9 times x to the fourth power minus 9 and this is equal to 0. Now I'll keep this factor so we have x to the fourth power plus 9 then times now focusing on this one x to the fourth power could be written as x to the second power or to the second power minus and 9 is also the same as 3 to the second power and this is equal to 0. So we have x to the fourth power plus 9. Now considering what is in the square bracket, I mean this whole thing, this is difference of two squares, so I can write this as x to the second power plus 3, then times x to the second power minus 3. And this is equal to 0. Alright, now from here I can say that x to the fourth power plus 9 is equal to 0 or x to the second power plus 3 is equal to 0 and lastly x to the second power minus 3 is equal to 0. Now let's go ahead and then solve for x from this equation. So we have x to the fourth power is equal to negative 9. Now considering the left hand side of this equation, everybody knows that x to the fourth power is positive but on the right hand side we have negative. Unless we're looking for complex solution, this equation cannot be solved. Okay, so now let's focus on this equation over here. Now from this equation, we have x to the second power is equal to negative 3. Now bear in mind that we're looking for real solution and x to the second power over here is positive. So there's no way x would be negative over here. So we are not going to consider this one as well. Now considering this equation, we have x to the second power minus 3 is equal to 0. So this means that x to the second power is equal to 3. Since we are looking for x, let's go ahead and then take square root on the both side of the equation. And don't forget we have plus or minus here. So this square will cancel this square root. Now we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3. And this implies that it is either x is equal to square root of 3 or x is equal to negative square root of 3. And these are the real solutions to this problem. Now you can go ahead and then plug these values into the original equation and you get to realize that they satisfy the equation. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Check this video as well. Until then, see you again on the next video.